Hiya folks, I'm Grim, and welcome to Grim Grooves, a channel where I react to and review music of all kinds. Today we'll be checking out Limbus Company, Canto 6, Boss Battles 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> or Battle Themes 1, 2, and 3, I'm not exactly sure, I'll have to double check. But anyways, I'm really excited for these because Canto 7's music was just exquisite. There were so many phenomenal songs there. And it was all so unique and interesting. And again, Studio EIM music in general is just so unique too. I, I can't wait to listen to more. <laughs> but if you've got anything else you'd like me to check out, make sure you throw it down in the comments. And when you're down there, it would only take a second if you hit the like button and subscribe and you can see all the new content I put out all the time. And uh, I'd also like to thank my Patreon supporters because their support means the world. I've got some Millie songs over there if you'd like to check them out. Uh, and I'd also like to say I've got a Discord if you'd like to check that out too. You're all welcome. Without further ado, let's check out... Canto 6, Boss Battle 1. This is so ominous. This is like a Souls game boss battle or something like that. Like, we got the choir in the back. We've got, like, dissonant strings and things like that. And dissonant, like, different me melodies that are just really interesting. And sounds fantastic, though. Like, it's so ominous and so cool. <laughs> I can only imagine what kind of boss this would be. organ in the background too like this is such an interesting layered melody there's so many different layers to it and it's fantastic like again just so ominous overall but really interesting and like if you compare this to like canto 7 and the like crazy dark carnival vibes and stuff like that it's so different like so drastically different to every boss battle we see in canto 7 and i can't wait to try this game out to learn more about this type of stuff because it's so cool Excellent percussion with the cello melody coming in there. I, well, I wouldn't say percussion, but more like the bassy element to this song. It works really well. Like just the fast-paced cello melodies we got going on there. And then we've got the violins, which are, that's the dissonant strings I was talking about before for the most part. Like there's very kind of strange and like they work really well for the unsettling nature of this song and the like dread and the tension it builds, it brings. And of course there's the choir, which is super interesting and just really well done choir too. Very cool, though. Ooh. Super interesting. Like, very ominous, very crazy, very intense. Like, that was fantastic. Like I said, it felt like a Souls game boss or something like that. Because it had that kind of, like... Again, it, that wasn't really singing in Latin necessarily, but even just the choir themselves, like, definitely brings some kind of, like, extra element of foreboding nature to it that is very tense and very, like, terrifying in a way. <laughs> I'm curious how these other songs will stack up, but without further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> this seems very intense.
So it looks like we're sticking with a similar vibe from the first one. We've got the interesting uh, kind of horror violin strings going on there. We've got the heavy percussion, like, beats. I'm not sure exactly what kind of elements, or, like, if those are drums or what, but we've got, like, the odd beat of the percussion. And again, we're only just getting started, so let's keep going. reminds me of Fantasia. I'm actually going to go back like 10, 15 seconds or so, because that section was really interesting. It was like a call and response between like horn section and the choir, and there was the, maybe it was the organ, I'm not exactly sure, but it, it sounded incredible. <laughs> I want to get that again. <laughs> Once again, very much horror vibes or very much like Souls game vibes. Like you got the really intense choir going on and you got the quick violin strings that are so frantic and so distorted that it just, it brings that sense of dread and fear and panic to the whole situation. And yeah, it's just very intense, very intense. And it's very cool. It seems like it's building or something, but what? This is really cool. They've almost built in the ticking sound into the melody here. Like, it's not the full ticking. There's just a slight, like, tick every once in a while, which is interesting. And at the very bottom of the mix, there's, like, a new bass melody. I'm not sure if it's a bass guitar or if it's a cello or what, but it sounds fantastic. It's just a nice way to round up the melody even more behind the kind of different choir melodies and stuff like that. Super cool, though. <laughs> That was fantastic like the choir would kind of sing a beat and then you'd have the violin like swirling violin melody 
very frantic, very interesting, like very fast paced and just crazy melody overall. Like again, this would fit perfectly in a Souls game boss battle, especially Bloodborne. Like this gives me the vibe of more of like a Bloodborne kind of a style because it's very dark, very foreboding, very ominous. Like, and there's only a couple sections where the vocalists actually went a little bit lighter, a little bit more ethereal with the vocals. But overall, it was fairly like intense, like crazy, like Latin chanting almost and stuff. Like it fit that vibe really well, and it was really crazy. That was that was fantastic. I think of the three, of the two I've heard so far, this one was my favorite. Uh, let's keep going, see what the last one has in store. Right off the jump with the Castlevania style organ melody. And then switching from the organ to the violin and replicating the same melody with the violin. Super cool. That was awesome. not expecting guitar like this to come in but i'm really surprised that it did and i'm really happy about it <laughs> that's awesome it still very much feels like castlevania or something like that but it works really well with the guitar This is like the climactic final battle or something like that. It feels like like it all really built to a crazy point. We hear the choir, but only slightly in the back of the mix. We've got the guitar coming in. Like it's so unique and so different from the other two songs we've heard, but it definitely feels like a like a conclusion kind of thing. Or the finale. Like it's fantastic though. It's such great melodies. Like I'm just always blown away by how interesting these are. it i love that violin melody the bum 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 like just such a catchy melody like that was fantastic again my only complaint is that i kind of wish it was longer like i wish this was also a three minute song and that we just got a little more variety and growth over the course of the song it was still really cool though like i and i'd still say over the three of these i'd say probably song two is my favorite uh boss battle two boss battle three would be my second and then the first one probably be my third and that might be just recency bias like maybe because i just listened to these these are more fresh in my memory and i like these more but two is definitely my favorite just because of how diverse and interesting it was and this one i believe if three was longer and had more diversity it probably would have been my favorite because it, it is really really good like i love the kind of castlevania style like deep organ melodies and the violin and the guitar coming in there like i did not expect that but they did absolutely phenomenal job with that guitar like excellent guitar melody just bring it in to change up the vibe so much and then you'd have like the electric guitar melody and then the violin melody over top replicating the same melody that the electric guitar just did and it's so cool it sounds so amazing like that was incredible <laughs> it just always blows me away how good this music is and i can't wait to see what they do next and also check out more from them because <laughs> there's a lot that i haven't heard yet but anyways thanks for hanging out watching my reaction if you liked it make sure you hit the like button and subscribe until next time Later days, folks.